Hey, hey, fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me. Tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is, so let's just go ahead and tap in with Spirit. Get this TPR real quick. See what's really going on in this general collective energy. Something here is significant about bats. I don't know if this is like the animal or somebody plays softball or baseball, but something is significant about bats. But anywho, fam, y'all already know, whatever comes out is general. Take what resonates, please, and leave the rest. Also, the messages are timeless. So whenever you come across the message, fam, that's exactly when spirit has, has it for you. Somebody here is suffering from, like, psoriasis. Yeah, or somebody, it's like a, um, it's going to start bothering you. So spirit is saying, uh, prepare for that. But yeah, to all the subscribers and members of the channel, thank y'all so, so much for rocking and rolling with me. I greatly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Somebody also needs to water their plants. Even if you're not a subscribed fan or a member of the channel, I thank you so, so much for rocking and rolling with me. I greatly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Yeah, somebody had been taking care of their lawn, their grass or something like that. Mm. But let's go ahead and get into this message. Let's see the message that Spirit has for. If you can, fam, open your windows and let some fresh air in. Mommy. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. Sorry about that. I'm also hearing something about changing the filter in your air conditioner, fam. Yeah, because it's like something is not cooling as much. Also, it's something about the coils. The coils might need to be cleaned. Mm. Also, somebody got a lot of shit off in the ashtray. Don't that that gum ashtray. <laughs> LeVar. Yeah, we got the three of swords. The first card, y'all don't mind. Somebody right here, they in, I heard despair. Yeah, we got the judgment right here. To the lovers, oh wow. Yeah, to the six of swords, somebody know that they could have did better by y'all. Where them ashes come from? Yeah, to the two of wands. Why did somebody choose to be an asshole though? Or is somebody choosing to be an asshole towards you right now? Yeah, Pisces, Gemini, Four of Cups, to the Moon card, High Priestess, Queen of Pentacles. What the heck? The Death card. Oh, to the Tower. Oh, okay. To the World card. <laughs> This is craziness. Because it really do feel like somebody is choosing to be an asshole towards you. This could have something to do with your intuition. This could have something to do. I'm hearing the way you make your money or how much money that you make. Yeah. This is weird as fuck. like some of y'all just throwing y'all hands up with the situation because it's like why you being weird to me yeah it, this is craziness let's go ahead and get into this fam because somebody definitely being weird and it feel like for no fucking reason at all but like, it gotta be some reason that's going on with them but I don't see that you've done anything to make this person be weird to you Somebody's stuck in their head about something. They feel trapped. So let me find out somebody being weird to y'all because y'all pretty much got y'all shit together. You know what I'm talking about? And this shit falling apart for them. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's crazy. So that's why somebody acting the way that they acting towards y'all. Because shit ain't going the way that they wanted to. But everything is going right for you. Yeah, we got the hacker right there. Let's turn this card in the upright. Spirit said don't use this dick. Okay. Yeah, we got Ten of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. Some of y'all are absolutely motherfucking happy. And it's like this person right here was sitting around and they watching you be happy. So it's like the more they watch you, the more defensive they get towards you. Their communication and everything. Yeah, Knight of Swords right here. You a whole queen and they coming out as a page and a knight. Somebody right here, this is crazy. It's all they got to do is get on your fucking level. Stop hating. Yeah, Page of Cups right here. You at the Nine of Cups, they at the fucking Page of Cups. This person ain't nowhere close to being on your level. Yeah, the Emperor. See what I'm talking about? You're the Emperor. And they the Page of Cups. You're the Queen of Pentacles. And they still coming up as pages. They still out here trying to figure shit out. Yeah. Somebody is also, I don't know who this person is. I, I hope Spirit reveal them. The King of Cups right here. We got the King of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles. That's craziness. Yeah, to the devil. Wow. And then look, it falls and it flips in the reverse. So it's like at one, at one point in time, this person right here, they treated you like a motherfucking queen. Because they were in king status. And now something right here, I don't know what the hell done went on with this person. But look, they they cold, emotionally um, closed off. Just, I don't know. Look, this is craziness. Hmm. I feel like somebody is under attack. And it's like, I, I can't, well, how do I put this? Because it really do feel like somebody right here, they could have been on your level at one point or another. But something here definitely happened in order to uh, bring whatever this person was doing to a complete halt, destroy it. So this, this is going a lot of different ways with that devil. Yeah, to the seven of pentacles. This could even be like an attack on you, but somebody is using your person in order to do it. Or this, this don't have to be your person, just other people. But it's all to attack you, but it's uh, through somebody else that is, that's around you. Yeah, because it really do feel like somebody's energy just switched. I'm also hearing something about a near-death experience. So I don't know, it's like, shit, you went to sleep and woke up and this motherfucker completely different person. It's just like, ah, damn. Okay. This I can't say possession. Yeah, we get high priestess right here twice. But that's kind of what it feel like to y'all. Like, this can't be such and such. Something got to be going on. Yeah, I'm feeling that same way. Something got to be going on. Exactly, five of swords. There is something going on. Yeah. Because it's like all of a sudden, this person right here, they I don't know if it's like they're stuck in their head. They're not motivated. They just sitting around and shit. It's like you trying to encourage them and they don't want to hear this shit. They popping off and everything else. Yeah, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. Yeah, it's also something about the, uh, the way that you and somebody make love where it just feel like y'all having sex now. It ain't even got nothing to do with love. Yeah, the emperor again, temperance. To the devil. Somebody here, they could they drink a lot or something like that. Yeah, this person right here, it feel like somebody left the door open and the enemy just walked right on in. Holy spit. Ace of Pentacles, but we're not gonna take that card. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Holy Spirit, what's the four of cups? The three of wands right here. Somebody right here. They got distant. Yeah. Six of pentacles. 
this could have even been somebody that felt started feeling like y'all owed him something or something like that. So somebody out here feel like because they're going through something, fam, and you got it, that you should just give it to them. They feel like you owe them this. You don't owe nobody shit. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, just like you get your ass up and go to work and get your money, they can too. Yeah, we got the Hierophant out here. We got the high, we had we got the high priestess to the hierophant. So somebody right here, they're definitely attacking your divine counterpart. Your divine counterpart is under attack. And that's why they treating you like this. Yeah, now we get the eight of pentacles that comes out. It popped out. Yeah, somebody could have heavy Libra, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Scorpio, Aries. In a chart, cancer. Yeah, and then we get the four swords. Somebody right here just all of a sudden it's like giving lazy energy. Yeah. This is crazy. Some of y'all also, you got back on your feet. You know what I'm talking about? I start making some money, taking care of shit. And that's like all of a sudden somebody right here, they, I don't know, they were working and then all of a sudden it comes to a stop, comes to a rest. They just get lazy. Yeah, Ten of Wands right here, putting all the responsibility on you. So this is this right here is designed with this Three of uh, Wands right here. Whomever this is that's attacking your 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 divine counterpart is designed to keep y'all away from each other. So yeah, it could kept coming up about uh, a couple having financial issues and things like that. If y'all could still be living in the same household, which makes it even worse. So, yeah, your divine counterpart is under attack. Mm -hmm. Also, there's some kind of sleep study research coming through here or something. Y'all might be saying, you know, like, this person possibly needs to go lay on the couch and talk to somebody. Like, I don't know if you offer, you know, like, okay, you go to counseling and I'll pay for it or something like this. No. Somebody not trying to hear that shit. It's just like somebody is dead set on focusing on the, the negative aspect. Like whatever space that they're in. They're not uh, focusing on the help that you know you can give them. Right now, whomever this person is, they looking at you kind of like the op. And it's all because there is some type of manipulation going on. And if it's not manipulation, fam, it's pure fucking jealousy. Some of y'all have a divine counterpart out here that is jealous of you because you are you standing on your feet and they still, you know, laying on their back. You know what I'm talking about? But it's like shit, it ain't your job to save this motherfucker, even if it is your divine counterpart. It's not your job to save these hoes. Mm. Yeah, I feel like somebody also, they make an excuse not to go to work because you have, you, you're you good, you make so much money. Or it's like you manage the money good where you can make shit happen. Yeah. Holy Spirit. What's the whole man? Thank you. Yeah, the five of wands in the reverse. I feel like some of y'all, it's like, I, I don't know who this is, but it's just like, I just don't want to argue. I don't want to fight anymore. This was giving the, the end trap. It's like, shit, um, in the same house, but it's just like, damn, I just, I don't have no more fight left in me for this shit. Yeah, Empress. We saw the Emperor earlier. High priestess to the high priest. This could be a very good relationship, but somebody right here, they need to learn to listen to you. Follow your guidance. Because I'm telling you, it feel like the moon card to the high priestess to the tower. Every time somebody go off and they do shit on their own, it end up bad for them. Yeah. Somebody is also giving pulling disappearing acts and shit like that. It's just crazy out here. Holy Spirit, behind me. 
Somebody keep telling somebody you don't have to do this by yourself. You don't have to fight this by yourself and woo, 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 and everything else. Yeah. The strength card right here to the four of wands. Somebody just like, look, it's, it's somebody just don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. I really do. I'm surprised the strength card didn't come out in the reverse because I'm telling you, it's like somebody has no, you probably got a lot of strength left for a lot of things, just not for arguing and fighting with this person. Somebody else here feel like they're getting mentally exhausted. But as soon as it's like they're ready to, uh, it feels like surrender, then whomever this is, they throw something even stronger. Somebody here, they're fucking with somebody's sacral chakra or something like that. Yeah. Somebody could have been like real aggressive sexually here lately. Oh, yeah, the hierophant comes out. To the three of cups. Mm. Yeah, to the four of pentacles right here. This is what I'm saying. Somebody is being like really, really nasty. Somebody, this is weird. Because it's like, whatever this energy is, fam, it wants to put you in like a very painful place. And they feel like separating you from your divine counterpart is going to do that. Some of y'all's divine counterpart could be with a third party right now. Because it's like the relationship between you and them got to be too much. That's why y'all keep hearing that, you know, your divine counterpart, they're over there and they're in this peaceful, you know, harmonious relationship. Some of y'all, y'all hear that shit, probably tear y'all ass up, right? Yeah, now that you and your divine counterpart are not together, there's no more attacks. But I'm guaranteeing as soon as y'all decide to come back together, boom, 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 once again. So that's what I'm saying. It don't work with just one counterpart trying to fight off these attacks. Two is better than one in any situation. Your divine counterpart need to wake up and realize what the fuck is going on so y'all can go on and com uh, complete this Kamisha. Yeah, so y'all can go on and uh, complete the this mission so y'all won't have to do this shit next lifetime. Yeah, but somebody, I, I feel it, somebody is definitely under attack. If this is not a tech, somebody here, your person is going under judgment for being an asshole to you simply because of jealousy. And there's no reason for that when it's like, shit, we supposed to be a team. Mm -hmm. So you know what this is also giving the energy of, fam? Ever since you stepped onto your spiritual journey, a lot of things about you have changed. So it's like this person right here on the cool, they'll never tell you, but they feel like you're better than them. We kept seeing those knights and pages, and then we get the queen out here. High priestess. Somebody right here, they don't feel good enough for you, so it's like they'd rather be an asshole Rather than open up, excuse me, and tell you exactly what the fuck is going on and how they're feeling. They rather emotionally close off. Go deal with third parties that they don't have to put very much work into. Yo. Mm -hmm. Two of ones, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, the tower. I'm telling y'all what I know. Somebody right here, they could choose peace. They could choose five of ones of the rush to stop all this arguing and fighting with you. No, this person right here, they choosing to keep the chaos going. Tower is out here twice. They're choosing this, but it feel like they try to blame it on you. Yeah. Oh, you know, you're 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 crazy. You're you you something about you watching to roll or your intuition and all this other kind of shit. No, they don't like the fact they know that your spiritual journey is doing wonders for you. 
And so they'll say whatever in order to get you off of it. So it's like somebody want to dim your light or drag you down to the level that they're on when they don't even have to do that. All they got to do is get their ass up and fight. It's another sword right there. Hell, we done all been hurt. Somebody else is holding a grudge. I don't know what the fuck. Did some of y'all put them in third party situations? Because if so, this person holding a grudge bad. But they got to know that they're also racking up karma by treating you this way. If it's that bad, then somebody just needs to leave. Like, leave the home, leave you the fuck alone, just go. Instead of sitting around here purposely treating you like this or doing this shit. Yeah, we got the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, to the king of cups. Mm -hmm. So I don't something here is about somebody never expecting to feel this way. Yeah. So this could have been at one point somebody was cool with it, like hell yeah, you know, she she over there making her money or he is, yeah, Libra energy. They was cool with it. Yeah. Cause like it could have been at one point this person was up. Who knows? Yeah. Mm -mm. Look, the de damn the devil. It came out in the upright. Nance in the reverse. See what I'm talking about? Somebody's being like overly like, oh my goodness, manipulative with it's like emotional. So this is somebody right here. They are really trying to break your ass. This is crazy. And I'm not meaning your divine counterpart when I say that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying whatever this energy is that's attacking your divine counterpart. Really, they're attacking your divine union. Yeah, they don't want y'all to be together. But whomever this person is, they're going under, they're going under judgment. So your divine counterpart could be going under judgment for treating you like shit. But I know for shit show, the person that's sending all this conflict magic or whatever this is. And I did say the devil earlier, and there you go right there. Yeah, uh, whomever this person is that's uh, sending all this conflict shit, it's going to be balanced out. Mm -hmm. Also, y'all be mindful of having, uh, not having any type of work accident. I don't know if somebody like drive a shuttle or a bus or something like that, but y'all be mindful. Also, I see some type of settlement coming in. Yeah. I don't know if this is like workman's comp or what. Yeah, we got the five of cups that comes up in the reverse. Mm hmm. Yeah, and then we got the two of cups to the knight of cups. Hmm. Yeah, to the eight of swords right here. Your person is it going to eventually end up waking up, but the point is, are you going to be uh, open to receiving them back? Because you got to unboard. <laughs> Some of y'all, I don't know how you going to, because, yeah. This ain't some of y'all. This ain't about energetically uh, manip uh, energetic manipulation. It's about jealousy. Yeah. Also, somebody is getting really irritated at y'all because of whatever it is they're trying to do. You're. It's not working on you. It's like you type uh, type type hmm. <laughs> type. I don't know what that's about. Y'all be mindful of people recording y'all or something. Yeah. Shit. Okay. So, yeah, it's like the shit that this person trying to do. You take a licking and you just keep on ticking. So, if this person say some shit to you, I feel like you just dismiss it. Some of y'all high priestess, you already know that this person got something on them. It's something fucking with them and shit like that. So, I feel like that's another reason why you're just ignoring the bullshit. 
because you know it's not this person speaking. It's whatever this energy is that's attached to them. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, somebody right here, Knight of Cups, Death card, Knight of Cups. Somebody, your person is going to end up waking up. It just may take some time. Somebody right here also, there's a message upload that has this all up and through it. Some of y'all, uh, y'all person had like a really lustful energy on them, which could have had them dibbling and dabbling in same sex. Yeah. So it's an energy out here, an entity, whatever y'all want to call it. They pulling out the stops to keep you and your divine counterpart uh, away from each other. Because somebody I already know, you ain't dealing with no third party situations and you damn sure ain't dealing with no same sex shit. You like, no, nah, we can go on and kill that right now. Yeah, that's what who meant whatever this energy is, is banking on. Okay. Holy Spirit, what's the tower? The Knight of Pentacles comes up in the reverse. God damn. Yeah, to the two of swords coming up in the reverse. Spirit is sounding a trumpet. Whatever did whomever this is. See, this is why it's like a wake-up energy. Some of y'all, this could have been past energy where it was like, okay, this person acting cool, and you just don't know what the fuck happened, and all of a sudden they're back to their, their normal self. Spirit is calling judgment on whatever this is that keeps fucking with y'all divine counterpart. The towers are going to completely stop. It's like a complete shift of energy. Like everything would just like calm down. But you got to understand that there's also a calm before the storm, fam. I just told y'all. Whenever y'all reunite, it feel like somebody right here, they go back in their trick bag and they start throwing even more shit. Your, your twin or divine counterpart, whatever you want to call them, something between y'all is about to calm down. But you got to understand that whatever this manipulative ass energy is, it's going to try to make its way right back in. Until your twin fully wakes the fuck up and realizes what's going on, actually listens to you, sit their ass down somewhere and shut up and listen, it's never going to stop. Yeah, somebody right here, they possibly with the, we saw the hot... This person is possibly more religious and they don't believe in like black magic or people can do this and people can do that. They don't believe it. So it's like if they don't believe it, how the hell are they supposed to actually work with you to stop it? That's why Spirit is saying your counterpart is going to wake up, but it may take some time. Yeah. Holy Spirit. Yeah, look, the Eight of Swords comes up in the reverse as well. See what I'm talking about? It's like a full releaser. Yeah. Damn, that was a lot of cards. Like, yeah, we got the Ace of Pentacles. That's the only one that done flipped over. Some of y'all do not see it coming, but you and your person will be getting back together yeah judgment again but i'm telling you this it's gonna take both of y'all fully woke and i'm hearing fully healed in order to uh defeat whatever this is that's attacking y'all's union also your person has to learn to take accountability yeah, stop trying to put the blame on you and shit, you know, for how they're feeling or whatever it is they're going through. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like, I don't know who this, I don't know who this person is that's throwing this. But whomever this is, it's like once your person starts coming out of this. So I don't know if some of y'all are doing something energetically or you just praying or whatever it is. But it's like y'all, you and your counterpart are still connected. So, yeah, your prayers and, you know, your, your protection, it does work. But it's like whomever this person is. So, I don't know if the, your counterpart is with somebody else right now. I don't know. But whomever this person is, it's like they can feel when your person is uh, waking up. 
slipping through their fingers, things like that, so they conjure up something else and throw it. So seriously, it's going to take both of y'all in order to defeat this shit. Both of y'all going to have to open up and be completely honest with each other. No fucking secrets. None. Yeah, it's about to get real around here for some twins. Yeah, the seven of pentacles right here to the ace of pentacles. See what I'm talking about? You and this person right here, y'all are supposed y'all it's designed for y'all to be together. Raise a family together. I heard travel the world. So this is you and this person are supposed to be inspirational. Yeah. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles right here. We got the Queen of Pentacles out here twice. So yeah, this could be something LGBTQ. Yeah, we got the Page of Pentacles. Very good news and finances and things like that. I'm telling you, whatever it is you putting out there to the universe, uh, fam, you're being heard. Yeah, it's just a matter of being patient, not rushing the situation and knowing that what Most High has for you is for you, High Priestess. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, to the hanging man. I'm telling you, somebody right here, they're trying to keep you stuck in your head, in your feelings, things like this. And it has something to do with your divine counterpart. Let's see, Holy Spirit, who is this? Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords to the Eight of Swords. Everything I done told y'all was the truth. Some of y'all divine counterparts, they're... Uh, also, how pretty somebody trying to bind you. Yeah, but let's get it. Your person is mentally stuck. Emotionally stuck. Holy Spirit. What's this devil energy out here? Devil in the right. The King of Cups. Somebody right here, oh my goodness, I told y'all, it felt like some of y'all persons are possessed. Some of y'all, this is, it's like you know that you're not dealing with the person that you fell in love with. You know this. Aries energy, Aries, Taurus, Emperor, your divine counterpart, male or female. Yeah. The moon card, the nine of swords, to the eight of cups right here. Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Whomever this person is, I feel like they even in their head because they like, why in the fuck did I leave? It's something about nighttime that's very significant here. It's also something here that keeps calling this person. It's like at night, whatever this energy is, Cancer, uh, why did I say Cancer? I mean Scorpio, Aries, Taurus. Oh, there go Cancer right there. Yeah, we got all the water signs here. So it's like at night, it can even get really, really bad for you because you're feeling the energy of your divine counterpart. Somebody is shedding real life tears, can't sleep in their feelings. But at the same time, it's weird because they're emotionally closed off. This person right here, their mind is in two different places. It's like, why do I keep thinking about somebody and it feel like they're being pulled towards you, but they can't fucking move? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like this person want to come toward you, but this energy is pulling them toward them. Or just pulling them in a, uh, in a different direction. Don't necessarily have to be, yeah, the nine of ones to the hierophant. Somebody want to see a relate. Look, they go to magician. Somebody want to see, want somebody, your divine counterpart to see you as, uh, I heard doing too much. Like, always doing too much. And that's not the case. Some of y'all, they feel like you're doing too much because they ass simply is not doing enough. They are not doing enough. Yeah. But any who fam, <clears throat> excuse me. That's the message that I have for you. Hopefully it gave you some type of clarity. If it did, y'all hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, y'all.
Personal readings are open. If you're interested, all of that information can and will be found in the description box of the channel. It's always my pleasure, of course, fam. I thank y'all so much for allowing me to read for y'all. I'm sending you guys love and healing energy wherever y'all may be in this crazy ass world, fam. And we'll most definitely get back up.